What's up, guys? Chris Teresi here, professional sports better founder. We cover spreads.com. Here to do a little PSA, talk of clear the air on a little incident going on right now with my name involved in it. But we're going to go backtrack first to how this all happened. Um, there's a handicapper out there on Twitter that bought my plays and resold them to his clients in college football a few months ago. Um, and what happened was, the guy, I guess he was doing so bad, he had to buy plays from other handicappers and resell them to his clients, but the idiot didn't realize that we had a mutual client. A guy came to me, I guess he was with him early, and, he, and, and the guy wasn't doing good, and he came to me, and bought plays off of me, and then all of a sudden he emailed me, he texted me, and was like, listen, this so-and-so handicapper, and I'm not going to mention his name because he's beneath me, like, if he, if he has some clout and he was somebody, then, then I would definitely put him, put his name out there, but I'm not even going to give him the spotlight, not even in a negative tone, but, um, so what happened was this client was like, listen, you know, this guy gave out your exact same plays, um, I think he bought your plays and resold them, so what do I do? I went and checked, and sure, sure enough, because he forwarded me the email of this guy's plays, and, and mind you, the, the units were the same, and we're talking obscure plays, like East Carolina over, like, like crazy stuff like that, so, so, I checked the emails, and sure enough, I didn't even know this guy was a handicapper, um, but sure enough, the emails match up, everything matched up, so I'm like, all right. I try to stay out of it, but this client was really mad. I mean, he's paying somebody. He said he bought a season pass from him, and, and this guy's, you know, reselling picks. He wanted me to put him on blast on Twitter, and I chose to kind of stay out of the whole. I, I chose to not get involved in it, you know, because I felt, you know, it's not something. I, I'm not with the Internet thing because that shit is corny to me. Like, I'm anybody that really knows me, they know me personally. They know it's real life living. Like, we're out in the streets and shit here. There's no, like, Internet beef, none of that. Like, I don't do that. So, for me, I, I'm on the Internet, but I'm not on it like that to that extent. So, I'm like, you know what? I let it slide. But, mind you, I still I got the PayPal receipt. I got all this. I got the emails. I got everything. I could expose them if I wanted to, but what does that lead? What What is that gonna gain? Where does that gain me? So many of you are probably like, okay, what, what are you talking about? Where's this all going? So, just keep in mind, this individual, this handicapper, has had a vendetta with me since that happened. Um, go fast forward and now, all of a sudden, I get an email and a tweet from some guy on Twitter. And he's claiming he's been, you know, whatever, tracking this this one handicapper's move, saying that he accusing him of making fake Twitter accounts and bashing other handicappers. Um, and he didn't just accuse him of it. He sent me, like, evidence, like, crazy shit that I, I don't know how he linked them to all these accounts, but he did it. And he was like, listen, I'm trying to, this guy's creating a felony because he's, you know, he, I don't even want to mention any of the other handicappers, but he built a website bashing another handicapper. And he's like, you know, I'm reaching out to you. I want you to be a part of this to take this guy down. What he's doing is wrong. He's defrauding people's names. You know, and he had all this information on him and, you know, everything. His government, where he lives, everything. So, but me, I didn't even answer the email because I'm not for the internet shit. Like, I don't even get involved with that. So, I let it be. I didn't even answer that. So, the names matched up it was the same handicapper that i sold the picks to so he has a vendetta against me now what is this guy saying he's trying to say that that my year-to-date record that i lied about it on on, on a monitoring service completely 100 percent false now my year-to-date record from january 1st till today we're at like 53.7 percent which is it's not much profitable but it's profitable we had a profitable year in all sports from january 1st till today every single sport where's the problem coming what he's saying was not a lie completely but it was a lie he's saying that i lied that i was down year to date this monitoring service didn't have my year-to-date record up on their website anymore. They monitor it differently than I do. I monitor it like a real business. A real business goes year-to-date from January 
1st to December 31st. That's how I monitor my plays, whether I'm up or down year to date. And you guys out there, you know me. You know when I, when I was struggling in college football, I did a video talking about that. So I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm a 1,000% up front. So this guy trying to discredit me and throw dirt on my name is, is, a, is a joke. Because what happened was year to date, what's missing from the year to date record, this Hand, this monitoring service only has my baseball season combined up with my my um, football from September and this start of college basketball, whatever little college basketball we had. It had all that combined, which was negative. And I'm not lying about that. I'm not denying that at all. I'm not saying that wasn't not negative. That was that was negative. But what was missing, what they erase when a new season starts, is it's a it erased my combined plays from last NFL season in the playoffs it it didn't have up my um my college football bowl game plays it didn't have up all my college basketball plays and we had a huge NBA season last year which is probably the biggest reason why we're positive it didn't have my NBA plays from January 1st through the playoffs which was a huge chunk of our profits so it wasn't a true year to date. They call it a season. See, their season and my year to date differentiate from each other. But what this guy's trying to say is that I lied to people on Twitter saying that people that I'm lying about my year to date record. It's a thousand percent false. I have people with real Twitter accounts with real, you know, names, real pictures on them tweeting to me like that have been with me clients since January 1st. Like, good job. Looks like we're going to finish up, you know, the season profitable. You know, for year to date. They've been with me since January 1st. They've been with me longer than that, some of them. You know, so for me, if you guys want, like, I'm not dealing with monitoring services, none of that. Look on my website. You want to track me every day, go to my daily recap section. I just wanted to clear the air with this because I don't want my name involved in, in some bullshit like that. You know, if I'm down on the year, I'm down on the season, I'm down on the sport... I'm the realest guy, like, only re people that lie are people that are scared of something, I'm not scared of nothing, if I'm down, I'm gonna be like, look, I'm down, I have a lot of clients out here on Twitter, that if I started lying about what games I'm giving out, about that I won and lost, they would, ex they would come out and expose me, you know, so, I did never lied once about a year to date record, never once, I'm not that stupid, you know, I keep it real, if, if I'm having a good year, a good season in a sport, I'll talk about it, if I'm having a losing season in a sport, so be it, I'm not afraid to hide it, I did a video talking about my college football struggles early in the college football season when we started off slow, so why would I lie about something like that, you know, so I just wanted to clear the air on that whole thing. I put this video out there for the people so you guys know the real truth and, and what's going on, man. I'm signing off. Peace.